Shri Krishna Chaitanya Pramunityananda Shri Advaita Gadana Shri Vasana Pramunityananda Shri Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Etavan eva yogena, etavan eva yogena, samagrene ha yogina, samagrene ha yogina, yujjate bimato yarto, yujjate bimato yarto, yat asangas tu krishna shaha, yat asangas tu krishna shaha, etavan eva yogena, etavan eva Samagrene ha yogina ha Samagrene ha yogina Yujyate bimato yarto Yujyate bimato yarto Yat asangas tu kritsna shaha Yat asangas tu kritsna shaha Etavan eva yogena Samagrene ha yogina ha Samagrene ha yogina Yujyate bimato yarto Yujyate bimato yarto Yat asangas tu kritsna shaha Yat asangas tu kritsna shaha Etavan, Etavan of, of such a measure. Of such a measure. You can just repeat it. Yes. Yeah. Evan, Evan, just. 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 No, I can do this for the... And you do the again repeating. Yeah. yeah. Yogena, Yogena, by yoga practice. By yoga, by yoga practice. No, no. You don't understand. <laughs> You then just do the translation and you repeat it. But I only do the English for the audience. Yes, I understand. And now you understand. Yes, okay, yes. I hope so. I hope so. Samagrena. Samagrena. All. Sijki. Ah, very good. Iha. Iha. In this world. Natozisya. Natozisya. Yoginaha. Yoginaha. Of the yogi. Na yogi. Na yogi. Yujyate. Yujyate. Is achieved. Se postiga, se postiga. Abhimataha, abhimataha. Desired. Jawana, jawana. He, he, certainly. Nesamena, nesamena. Artaha, artaha. Purpose. Cel, cel. Yat, yat. Which? Kuyat, kuyat. Asanga, asanga. Detachment. Utrechnos. Tu. Tu. Indeed. Krishna Shaha. Krishna Shaha. Completely. Pona. Pona. Translation purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. The greatest common understanding for all yogis is complete detachment from metta, which can be achieved by different kinds of yoga. Purport. There are three kinds of yoga, namely Bhakti Yoga, Jnana Yoga and Ashtanga Yoga. Devotees, jnanis and yogis all try to get out of the material entanglement. Well, you try maybe to 
<laughs> the original. <laughs> Всички трансценденталисти, преодолени гиани и йоги, се стремят да се освободят от материалния плен. The gyanis try to detach their sensual activities from material engagement. Гианите се опитват да откъснат сетилата си от материалните дейности. The gyani yogi thinks that matter is false and that Brahman is truth. Те смятат, че материята е иллюзорна, а истината е браман. He tries, therefore, by cultivation of knowledge, to detach the senses from material enjoyment. Затова се опитват, опитват да откъснат сетилата си от материалното свъждение чрез процеса на култивиране на знания. The Ashtanga yogis also try to control the senses. Ashtanga yogite също се опитват да контролират сетилата си. The devotees, however, try to engage the senses in the service of the Lord. The sen- you got that? Hmm. Therefore, it appears that the activities of the bhaktas, the devotees, are better than those of the gyanis and yogis. Hmm. The mystic yogis simply try to control the senses by practicing the eight divisions of yoga. Yama, niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara, etc. Yama, yama, no, no, asana. you don't have to repeat that. And the jnanis try by mental reasoning to understand that sense enjoyment is false. But the easiest and most direct process is to engage the senses in the service of the Lord. Но най-лесният и директен метод за постигане на контрол над сетивата е ангажирането и обслужването за Бога. The purpose of all yoga is to detach one's sense activities from this material world. Всички видове йога са предназначени да откъснат дейности на сетивата от материалния свят. The final aims, however, are different. Но крайната цел, която си поставят различните йоги, е различна. Gyanis want to become one with the Brahman effulgence, yogis want to realize Paramatma, and devotees want to develop Krishna consciousness and transcendental loving service to the Lord. That loving service is the perfect stage of sense control. The senses are actually active symptoms of life and they cannot be stopped. They can be detached only if there is superior engagement. Hmm. There is no such... Uh, the, but this is what it says. The senses can be detached only if there is superior engagement. As it is confirmed in Bhagavad Gita Param Drishtva Nivartate, the activities of the senses can be stopped if they are given superior engagements. Bhagavad Gita Utvajda Param Drishtva Nivartate Дейности на стивата могат да бъдат спрени само ако предложим на стивата по-висш тип занимания. The supreme engagement is engagement of the senses in the service of the Lord. That is the purpose of all yoga. Най-висшето занимание за стивата е служението за Бога. Това е предназначението на всички видове йога. Етаван ева йогена сама гренеха йогинаха Юджате бимато ярто, ят асангасту, кръцнашаха. The greatest common understanding for all yogis is complete detachment from matter, 
which can be achieved by different kinds of yoga. Най-великата цел, към която се стремят всички йоги, е състоянието на пълно отреченост от материята. То може да се постигне с помощта на различни видове йога. So, Kapila Deva is speaking to his mother. Kapila Deva говори на своята майка. And this is basically the last chapter of his instructions, which began in chapter 25. Това е край на наставлението на Kapila Deva които тази глава това са краят, а започнахме от 25-та глава. So, it's like many chapters of instructions. So. <laughs> Изглежда като много глави на наставление. Yeah, basically the whole, this whole volume almost. So it begins with the glories of devotional service. И започнахме с главата величието на прямо обслужене. And then about material nature, again about devotional service. And then description of fruitive activities. And how the living entity is transferred into a new body and develops and all this thing. And chapter. And at the end, Entanglement in fruitive activities. Which is surprising to me at least. One may think, well, why don't you finish with again glories of devotional service? <laughs> But it's the Lord is making his choice, so he's explaining how we are entangled in this material world. And of course, ultimately, the question is how to get out of that. Um, so he, he, here he says, I mean, at least there's one common understanding of all the different types of yogis, which is also surprising, which normally they have different ideas. But they all agree on one point. Um, complete detachment from matter. Which is very, very difficult. <laughs> If you may have noticed. <laughs> right? Is it easy? <laughs> I, I think it's very difficult. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's see how this is now explained here. Um, so the different yogis, they have actually different kinds of goals. But To get to whatever goal they may have, detachment from matter is necessary. Because the goals are beyond matter. Um, actually, even the karma yogi is not included here. <laughs> because he may still have goals within the material world. Generally, the idea is to engage in some kind of pious activities and get a better situation in a higher planet even. But the jnanis and the ashtanga yogis, which are the, the meditators, And the bhakti yogis, they want to go beyond the material world. You want what? Water? No, no. <laughs> But under control. Yeah, one, uh, anyway, one minute is coming. Okay, one minute.
is coming. Okay, so uh, where were we? Um, um, we yes, the, so the, all these different types of yogis, I mean the Bhakta yogi, the jnani and the ashtanga yogi, the meditator, they want to go beyond the material world. Because I have come to one understanding, which is common to all of them, that entanglement in fruitive activities is leading to suffering. Yeah, I mean that's like a really basic realization. And I, I, I remember in one class, I think, or maybe even in one of the books, Prabhupada says, unless one comes to the understanding that one that the material world is a place of suffering and one want, wants to get out, he's an animal. <laughs> so when they wonder why so harsh words, <laughs> I'm an animal because I just want to stay here and enjoy life. Uh, yeah. I mean, you ask anybody nowadays, nobody has the idea of getting out of the material world. They want to make it a better place. Well, that's like one of the great, make the world a better place. Uh, right, isn't it? So many organizations, politicians, I mean, some politicians, not all, <laughs> and even those, maybe even those who are tyrants, they want to make a, the world a better place, at least for them. Um, not, not for anybody, but for, for me. Yeah, I mean, it's... it's Natural tendency is to enjoy, no? Even if you're in a place like North Korea, <laughs> where practically the whole population is almost starving, <laughs> unless they get some help from China to survive, but those who have the power, they have all facilities, they you know, watching Hollywood movies every night, they enjoy life. <laughs> was said at least, this is Kim Jong, one of his favorites is watching action movies. <laughs> Whatever, Kim. We call Kim. 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 Yeah. Kim is okay. good enough. <laughs> so, uh, um, the leader of Southern Korea will be able action filming. Yeah, yeah. So, they, you know, they want to enjoy their senses. No, that's natural. And you disregard that there is suffering. You cannot avoid it. Well, the point is, some are so much an illusion, they think by our material advancement, one day we'll come to the point there's no more disease, there's no more poverty, there's no more this, and the world is a perfect place. And we understand from Bhagavad Gita, especially Krishna says, Dukkalaya Mashashvatam, forget it, it's never going to happen. It's always going to be a place of suffering. So therefore those who are a little more intelligent, they're not like animals, 
They understand complete detachment from matter. That's the first step to get out of here. Но тези, които не са животни, те са малко по-издигнати, затова те разбират, аз трябва да се измъкна от този материален свят. So, that distinguishes a human being, as Prophet says, from dvi padu pada pashu, a two-legged animal. Това е разликата между хората и до краките животни, до пада пашу. Два пада пашу. Пашу is animal. Um, so now we have to see, okay, we want to get detached from matter, then, then what? After that, what happens? Oh, well, what's the idea? I'm just getting detached, then. so what? So, the, for example, we have, uh, let's start with uh, the Gyanis. Prabhupada first talks about the Gyanis. They think that matter is false. И право път отбелязва първо за гените, те считат материалния свят за иллюзорен. And Brahman is truth. А Брахман е истина. So they say, Jagan Mitya, Brahma Satya. Or Brahma Satya, Jagan Mitya. Depends how you look at it. Brahman is truth and the material world is false. Те как виждат нещата, Brahma Satya, Jagan Mitya. So, and of course, our argument, Prabhupada's argument, is always, it's not false, it's temporary. <coughs> and the simple argument, or the, the, the explanation is, um, matter ultimately comes from the, ultimate, the, the absolute truth, so how can it be false? Защото аргументацията е, че ако, тъй като материята идва от абсурди, ако може да бъде иллюзорна. Кришна says, Ahaм Саваса Прабабо, from me comes everything, both material and spiritual world. И това Кришна казва, Ahaм Саваса Прабабо, от мен произведат и материални и духовни сега. So, it's <laughs> so, but it's temporary, that's true. So in that sense you may say it's false or illusory, that's another word we use. And what we may say is illusory are the external forms, but not matter in itself. Това, което може да кажем е иллюзорно, е външната проява, но самата материя не е фалшива, не е иллюзорна. Simple examples, we have here a few things made of wood, right? Като, за пример, тук има някои неща направени от дърво. So, it has a shape, it's very consistent. If you don't do anything, it may stay there for a hundred years. Както, например, тук имаме направени неща от дърво и ако не го разваляме, може да остане 100 години, примерно. Well, maybe. Икеа will not stay for 100 years. Икейските неща му. But if you have an old made Bulgarian table made from solid oak wood, it may have a few hundred years or even a thousand years. Но ако имаме маса направена от тук в България от... Well, there are churches, wooden churches in Norway, which are actually more than a thousand years old. Yeah, you just have to be careful, no woodworm gets inside and eats it up. Разбира се, не трябва да се допускат дървеници, които да изядат отвътре. Which is interesting, which means this will disappear, it was illusory, but now it's, it's inside the woodworms as, you know, how you say, the, this powder of wood, and then it comes out as woodworm stool, but it's conservation of energy, it's just transformed. The, the church is still there, but in the form of woodworm stool. Question no interesting question. Църквата, ако е проявена от такива дървеници, 
Тя има външната форма, просто е трансформирано дървото от е, дървесина в е, изпражнение yeah. от е, дървеница. Да, yeah, actually, it's true. You know, the, the, the atoms com, that compose the wood and later on whatever comes out, they don't disappear, they don't, they're, they're still there. Uh, дървесината, от която е направена църквата, тя, атомите там се остават същи, просто са трансформирани. Or you may burn it. It may happen. You know, there's a fire and then the church will disappear within, within the fire. Може да се случи да църквата да изгори в огън. Може да се случи това нещо. But it doesn't disappear. It just transforms. All the atoms now become smoke and whatever and um, so yes in that sense it was false because it does it doesn't exist anymore in the shape of a church um, so the jnanis they understand this and the ashtanga yogis and the bhakti yogis we, we should understand this that anything material doesn't matter what it is it's a temporary manifestation всички йоги, гиана, бхакти и аштанга йоги разбират, че всичко в този свят е временно. But we as living entities are eternal, so therefore this temporary nature is really a, a, a completely opposite to our own real nature. И ние като живи същества разбираме, че материалната енергия Материалната природа е различна от нашата естествена природа и тя е духовна. So therefore the, the natural desire is to have a permanent situation. Затова естественото желание е да имаме една постоянна, непроменяща ситуация. Right? If it's, especially if it's a nice and enjoyable situation, you don't want to change that. И естествено, ако имаме ситуация, в която ние се наслаждаваме, ние не искаме да променим това нещо. Не е като да имаме нова къща. Нормално е да правим всичко, да го Ако имаме нова къща, ние се опитваме да я поддържаме. Или колата. Или нова кола. 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 Също така ние се опитваме и тялото да поддържаме в добра форма. But, not possible. Но не е възможно. Not the house, not the car, and not the body, anything, in time, it will be destroyed. Не може да поддържаме тялото за постоянно, колата или къщата, всичко ще бъде. So that's what Krishna says. Кришна yeah, I'm time. And I am destroying everything. Nobody is exempt, not even Brahma. You may live, how long does he live? 311 trillion years, which is beyond our imagination. Um, but then it's finished. It's a, a lot of years. <laughs> I mean, we can look back now, 2,000 years when Jesus apparently was there. That's only 2,000 years, is nothing. So that's an important realization for a transcendentalist that yes, anything material, it's temporary, it's illusory in that sense, it's false, it's not really false, but it's yes. So this is not a permanent place. So then the question is, what is the goal after one becomes detached from matter? So here the jnanis, they want to merge into the Brahman. And the yogis, they want to realize Paramatma. 
And then here Prabhupada, devotees simply want to develop Krishna consciousness and transcendental loving service to the Lord. <coughs> so, and there's two aspects to this now. Uh, here actually he speaks about the process of becoming detached from matter, which is the best one. Um, because this, you know, meditating on Brahman and trying to merge into Brahman, it's a little bit artificial. So, Therefore, in Bhagavatam, we have this famous verse in Yen, Ravi Daksha Vimukta Maninas. Uh, Vimukta Maninas, it's actually an imagination to merge. Yeah, Buddha, yeah, it's, it's a, like the intelligence, it, it's not clear, it's, it's contaminated. Uh, and what's the problem? Why? Because param param patantyago. You may rise, you know, by meditating, but then finally you fall down. Yeah, it's not a permanent situation. Brahman realization is not a permanent situation either. It's temporary. So why? Because it doesn't correspond to the real nature of the living entity of the soul. Yeah, the, living entity is part and parcel of Krishna and has a relationship with Krishna, not with Brahma. Yeah, the living entity is a person, Krishna is a person, so there's a personal relationship. So therefore, as it is pointed out here, the perfect way of detachment is engaging oneself and especially the senses in the service of the Lord. Then, like almost automatically, and therefore he quotes Param Prishvanivarta, if one experiences satisfaction doing that, then you don't have to artificially control the senses, they are automatically controlled. So then you become detached naturally by becoming attached to Krishna. Yeah. Otherwise all these other processes um, to control the senses is very difficult. Uh, we, we haven't talked about the Ashtanga yogis. Which, uh, there are many famous yogis. Vishwamitra uh, and this one and that one and Vishwamitra is very famous for falling down from his yoga practice. <laughs> because he just heard the ankle bells of Menaka and Apsara from the heavenly planets. <laughs> Yeah, just the ankle bells. I mean, she, she wasn't like before him, you know, he didn't look at her like in a club or something, <laughs> some table dancer or something. No, no, just ankle bells. <laughs> I mean, she wasn't naked, right? <laughs> so one may wonder, you know, what kind, what, what yoga is this? You know, just by hearing ankle buds, you cannot continue with your yoga meditation. It's not a very good process. 
да занимаваш с културно сетилата и просто едни излъчета се разваняват и процесът прекъсва. Of course. No, we don't. We have to make some um, adjustment here. I mean, Vishwamitra is a very great personality. No offense. Трябва да отбележа нещо. Ние не искаме да оскърпим. Вишомитра е велика личност. And we can conclude these are not ordinary ankle bells. И също така трябва да направим заключението, че тези звънчета на краката не са обикновени звънчета. Yeah, they are from the heavenly planets. Те са от райските планети. So we cannot even imagine by hearing that sound, maybe you could... You know, it's like the most beautiful thing you ever heard in your life and you become attracted, naturally. And by hearing it, of course, you want to see where is it coming from. Because, you know, the yogis normally meditate half eyes half closed, not completely, then you sleep, Prabhupada says, so half closed. <laughs> but, um, so then you open the eyes to see where the ankle bell can, coming from, the sound, and then you see a beautiful ankle. Леко се отварят очите, за да видят откъде идва сладкия звук от тези звънчета и виждам първото, което виждаме е звънчетата. Едни крака прикрепени към тези звънчета. И след това трябва да видим тези крака на кого принадлежат и виждаме менака и всичко приключва. И тогава имаме гандарва мариадж и шакунтала е сборен в време. Тогава имаме гандарва сватба и шакунтава се ражда. И край се с йога практика. Може би си саубари муни и искаш да избегнеш тия проблеми, затова отиваш и правиш медитацията си под водата. There are no apsaras under the water. Няма апсари във водата. But there are fish. Но пък има рибки. And then two fish may kiss and that's it. Then you... Oh, I want to do this also. И две риби се цуват и... А, и аз искам така. And then you get out of the water and marry 50 princesses. И тогава излежеш от водата и се жениш за 50 принцеси. And your yoga practice is finished. So these are not very good ideas. So therefore, yes, no jnani, no yogi, ashtanga yogi, bhakti yogi. You engage your senses in Krishna service, and this should be doing the job. Is it why? Neither jnana, neither jnani yogi, sam premodanite, bhakti yogi, ten vijayat sva sujana Krishna, kaus pyaar. Okay. So, the easiest and most direct process. Because the senses are engaged anyway, this way or that way. You have senses, so they cannot be completely like stopped. You cannot stop the senses. So in one sense, we can say, jnanis and yogis, they try to stop the sense activity. Но гианите и йогите, те се опитват да спрат дейността на спивата. Но това не работи. Най-прекият и лесен метод е да бъдат използвани спивата в служение на Кришна. It is said that our process is the best, and only only chanting Hare Krishna is enough to remove. We are the best, the champions. We are the champions of yoga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it is very easily removing all material attachments. Yeah. But then, not only for one life, when you chant Hare Krishna, all the karma is going for for million lives and things like this. And the question is. 
wire still uh, some scars from the previous life and material enjoyment so strong mm. after chanting for the name. Good question. Why Krishna don't remove them? Yes, to why? make us easier to why? practice. Okay. Um Kazasich could put him here Krishna is an issue of Sujani. Krishna is to Java Karmata is a Milonji. 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 Karmata is a So what do you think? What is the cause? I don't know. You don't know. Anybody knows? Anybody has any idea? If you have read, uh, it's set. It set. Actually, it says in the Chaitanya Chaitanya. But anyway, uh, what anybody has an idea? What's the problem? What is the problem? Chanting if, if so, as he said, you know, by chanting, all this should happen. Why doesn't it happen? Chanting is not pure. Aha, uh -huh. we're getting there. Yes. Uh, не се унищожава, защо не се случва това нещо, защото нашето повтаряне не е чисто. I mean, chanting and chanting is not the same. Повтарянето на святия имам, повтарянето на святия имена не е едно и също. We have different types of chanting. Ние имаме различни видове възпяване. There's, I mean, three main categories, we know that, right? Имаме три главни категории. The offensive chanting, the clearing stage and the pure stage. Нивото на оскърбленията, на пречистването, второто ниво и чистото повтаряне. So there's Nama Parat, Nama Vasa and then Shuddha Nam, which means that, you know, Nama, Nama Parat means chanting with offenses, chanting Nama Vasa, you're getting there and then, you know, beyond uh, material contamination is pure, pure. Нама парати, повтарям с оскърбление, нама баса, на които ми се да натруваме внимателно и последния етап е натруваме чисто. So the, the conclusion must be, unless we think it's false, what is said, but it's, it's true what it is said, that by chanting all this will be achieved, and if we don't achieve it, so we have to see what it, is the problem the chant, the, the name, the chanting, or what is, where, where is, where is the problem? Ако повтарянето изчиства, тогава къде е проблем, ако не сме се изчистили от повтарянето или? Like, uh, you may remember Upadeshamrita, verse 7, I think, um, where it's, where Rupa Goswami says that, um, Actually, for example, Krishna's name is very sweet. But we don't experience that sweetness. Um, and he compares it to this um, jaundice. I never had jaundice, but it is said that when you have jaundice and you take something sweet, it tastes bitter, which is very strange. Не съм изпитвал сами аз това нещо, но си казвам, че когато човек е отболен от жълтиница, когато еде нещо сладко, то му се струва горчило. Anybody here had the experience of jaundice? Yes? No? So, but we are told, we believe that. <laughs> You know, if you have that a disease, then you take sugar cane and it tastes bitter. My goodness. Може нямаме опита тук, но се казва, че когато опитаме нещо сладко, загърна тръстика, то не се струва горчило. So how, then if you take something bitter, how, how, how must it taste? Maybe in 100 times amplified bitterness or something. Anyway, so what is the problem? The problem is obviously not the sugar cane. Yeah, yeah. Well, in India, it grows and you yes. 
Squeeze it and you get juice. Sure. No, I mean, because there's another person next to you which doesn't have, who has, has not drawn this, and he will say, oh, it's so delicious, it's fantastic. And now you can argue, no, it's bitter, no, it's sweet. Well, who is right? Well, actually, by nature, it's sweet. The problem is your disease. If you get cured, then, oh, surprise, it tastes sweet suddenly. The sugar cane hasn't changed. So, therefore, Rupa Goswami says, so there's a wonderful thing that just by, now you have to pay attention, carefully chanting every day, then there will be a result. So, the result will be that the disease will be cured. And he says, that it's like a miracle that suddenly you will taste sweet again. So, the problem is the disease. We are diseased and therefore chanting, we may chant for hundreds of years, millions of years, there's no result. Or very, 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 very slow. Therefore I said that was is said in Chaitanya Chaitamita. Seventh, seventh chapter or eighth chapter. Adi Adi Lila. Um, that you know, if if one sees there's not the result that is described, it means he proper translates one is infested with offensive chanting. Yeah. So that's the that's the problem. There are ten offenses and. Um, even if we cannot get rid of one of them, it will be sufficient to impede uh, purification. I mean, especially a few of them, they are more serious than others. Uh, you may avoid all the offenses except for the first one, which is the worst, you know, offending Vaishnavas all the time. <coughs> so, no result. Or you may avoid all of them except for attentive. You're inattentive all the time, distracted. So, no result. Or you avoid all of them, <laughs> but you maintain material attachments, so. <laughs> avoid all of them, but you don't obey the instructions of the spiritual master. So, so and, and maybe even it's more than one, then, you know, more trouble. <laughs> right. You're inattentive, you offend Vaishnavas, you don't obey the spiritual master, you maintain material, already four, you know. <laughs> so, that's yeah. our, maybe our position, so we have to, have to think about that. There must be a reason, no, if after so many years we still don't experience the ecstasy that is described. 
че не изпитваме екстра, за който, за който четем. Next life. Следващия живот. Life is eternal, that's the good news. Добрата новина е, че живота е вечен. So you get another chance. I mean, the, the, the philosophy, I mean, actually, the really very sad philosophy, you only have one life. If you don't make it, then Много тъжна философия. bad luck. Много тъжна философия е тази, която счита, че живота е един. You are either condemned or go to heaven. No? Either you are condemned or you go to heaven. А, тоест, или си запратен в фаза, или отиваш в фаза. We have another chance, which is... Поне при нас имаме друг... But that doesn't mean, okay, so I don't care, you know, next life. No, no, we don't know what le- next life will be, so therefore it should be this life. <laughs> I hope you're not depressed by the answer. <laughs> there's hope, there's hope. You just try your best. And Krishna is also very merciful, so if we don't commit serious offenses, There's still, you know, Krippa, шанс, Krippa City is possible also. Има шанс Кришна ми остив, просто трябва по-добре в себе. Крипа Сида е тук също. If we're not Sarana, we're not Nitya Sida, not Sarana Sida, okay, at least maybe there's a hope for some Krippa City, or mess, a mix of Sarana City and Krippa City. <laughs> Ако не сме Nitya Sida, Sarana Sida, може би има шанс за нас като Крипа No, just have to try our best. That's all we can do. Okay, I think it's time, right? We have to stop. We should stop. Or unless the... That's it. Oh, okay. One small one and a short answer. Yes or no? <laughs> okay. Uh, казах ти, че uh, Кришна чрез фактора време унищожава всичко. Не остава ли нещо вечно, както Кришна? You said that uh, time factor mm. Krishna is uh, yes. destroying everything. Is... Yes, всичко means everything. Yeah, I, I, one, one word I know, I think. Всичко. Всичко. Very interesting. Yeah, he does everything. There's nobody except for the spirit souls that are not destroyed. <laughs> Everything material is destroyed. That's how even the whole universe ultimately will just enter into Mahavishnu and finish. It becomes, you know, like if you have some clay and you have some forms and ultimately it's all again smashed and you have just clay. It's not really destroyed, but the forms are destroyed. Защото в крайна сметка материята по този тялото на Хавишна, както ако имаш нещо направено от дина, най-различни неща, в един момент те просто ги хващаш, смесваш ги и правиш на топ. Sand is a good example also. You can, on the beach, you can make castles and so many forms, but then, you know, the wave comes and it all becomes just sand again. No form. Както на брега, на пяска, от него може да направим различни неща, като замъци, но когато дойде вълната, всичко било уметено и от тъмно имаме само пяска. Nowadays you have these artists, they make huge forms, you know, very elaborate, right, from sand. It's amazing how they do this. You know. They take how many hours just to do that? <laughs> just disappears. You have to take a photograph quickly. <laughs> Както има такива скуп, скуп. Хора, които се занимават с скулптура, yeah. правят uh, форми от uh, скулптура от пясък, много детайлно, отделят много време, много часове за да го направят и гледат бързо да го заснемат, защото много скоро това се унищожава. Да, so Брама е скулптор. Той прави всички различни тела за всички, но в края те са всички изтрогани и това е просто мета. Брама е такъв скулптор, той прави различни форми и времето ги унищожава. That's material work. Ашашватам. <laughs> It's not impermanent. Ашашвата означава, че не е постоянен. And we try to 
find a way to maintain everything. And it's just a waste of time in one sense. If that's the goal of life, just to maintain and make it better, it's not possible. Therefore, all the yogis understand, yes, complete detachment from matter, that's the way. Not easy, yeah? Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Grantara Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Sisi Gonitai, Jananapala Devsubhadra Gaurabhadra Vinda ki jai.